yesterday, about now, we, we were speaking about the top 100 things to do in Australia before you die, as recommended by Australian Traveller magazine. Number one on this list, a visit to Lord Howe Island, where you can apparently see the most amazing, I mean, lots of things to see, but an amazing glow-in-the-dark mushroom. Well, the good news is that if it's glow-in-the-dark mushrooms you want to see, then you can save yourself tens of thousands of dollars and see them right here at Mount Gravatt. Michael Fox is president of the Mount Gravatt Environment Group. Hello. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Good. Now, tell us about these mushrooms. Uh, well, I just want to say... Definitely, Barry. I don't recommend eating them. Okay, we're not eating the mushrooms, people. No. Right, not good for you at all. And, uh, you know, I don't say don't go to Lord Howe Island. What I'm saying is, look at what's right in your backyard already. Mm. Where do we find these mushrooms? The the ones that are photographed on, on our website are in fire, what we call Firefly Gully, uh, well-named because it's got full of fireflies as well, which is one of three wildlife corridors on the southern face of Mount Gravatt. Yeah. Um, we're restoring these areas uh, with, a, with a view to linking it with the um, Mimosa Creek and Rolly Chapman Reserve. Where are they? Uh, Rolly Chapman Reserve is uh, just beside uh, Luggan Road near the... Uh, um, yep. Up Mar- Upper Mount Gravatt State School. Yep. Okay, so th- these are three. Uh, we'll just uh, th- these are three wildlife corridors that you're talking about. So you can see these mushrooms there. Now, do they glow at particular times of the year, or is it just something they do after a sunny day? No, no, they seem to be seasonal. Mm-hmm. They come in for a couple of weeks in January if we've got a good season like we've had the last two years. Yep. Uh, and each individual mushroom lasts about two days, and their glow drops off very quickly. Do we know what makes them glow? Uh, no, I'm not an expert on that. However, okay. We, we do have a link on our blog to the Springbrook Research Centre, mm-hmm. and they do a lot of research on this. All right. What else? Bioluminescence. What else can you find uh, right under our nose, Michael? You sound like a man who's passionate about the area he lives in. Oh, it's just it's an honour to be to uh, live here because mm-hmm. we've got koalas, we've got echidnas, we've got squirrel gliders. Uh, one of our bush care sites, we've brought back imperial hair streak butterflies. Um, we're repopulating one, another one of our gullies with green tree frogs. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we, this, this mountain, it's only 66 hectare reserve. There's 10%, the native plant species diversity in 66 hectares is equal to 10% of the total plant diversity in the UK, which is 32 million hectares. Wow. <laughs> Puts it into perspective, doesn't it? It does. It does. Michael, what's your website so people can go and have a look, not just at the mushroom, but at the good work your group's doing? Well, the easiest way, just yep. Google Mount Cravat Environment Group. All right, we'll find it there. Don't worry about the WWs and all that. Just yep. Google it. Michael, thank you so much. And at least now, if we want to see those glowy mushrooms, we, we don't have to go too far to do it. Absolutely. Thank you. And we're we're growing more. Thanks, Michael. Michael Fox from uh, President of the Mount Gravatt Environment Group. So, as he said, put it in a search engine and have a bit of a look for yourself.